Goth culture wasn't a passing fad from the 1980s like many people believe, but I'm sure you know that anyway. Hey, welcome to Online for Love, your number one resource for dating by the numbers. Today we're going to be going over the top online dating websites for those who are goths. Now right off the bat, if this doesn't sound like the perfect set of dating websites for you to be checking out, no worries, we've got a great solution for you, and that's by taking our online dating website quiz. This quiz is going to ask you some personal preference questions as to what you're looking for in an online dating experience, and at the end of that quiz, it's going to let you know exactly what the perfect online dating website is for you personally. If you'd like to take this quiz, you can do so by jumping down into the description down below or by clicking on the link that's popping up above my head right here. And after you've taken that quiz, be sure to check out our deals page. Our deals page hosts multiple different online dating website discounts for multiple different online dating websites. So if you'd like to save yourself some money, who the heck doesn't, be sure to again check out our deals page in the description down below or by clicking on the links popping up above my head right here. I do want to let you guys know that it really does help us out if you hit like and subscribe for these videos as well. It really pushes our content out and it really helps support the channel. We super duper appreciate it. So without further ado, let's get into number one on this list, which is Gothic Match. This is not one of those mixed dating websites where people from outside of the interest of goths will sign up on. And I mean, it's right in the name. Although users here are goths with the occasional emo lover thrown in as well. This is exactly why we have it on their top section for goth dating websites that you should consider. It proved difficult to find out exactly how many users are on the site unfortunately, but those behind Gothic Match call it not only the first, but more importantly, the largest online dating website for goths. They also claim that thousands and thousands of their users have met up and actually dated. Know that while this website doesn't have as many users as a mainstream dating website would, it does have users who are all going to be exactly what you're looking for, and that's goths. Before we get into exactly how this website works, I did want to bring up one important point, and it's that this website isn't strictly an online dating website. It is actually a goth community. So they do include blogs and forums here that users can write and that you could write yourself if you wanted to among various topics, one of them being tattoos, for example. So let's get exactly into how this website works, starting with the registration process. The registration process allows you to sign in using social media should you choose to. If you don't sign up using social media, you'll have to have a valid email address as well as provide your gender, the gender you'd like to match with, and yes, this website is open to the LGBTQ plus community, and you'll also have to provide your age. After this, then you are presented with the start of your profile creation. Your profile creation requires you to fill in certain information, including your first name, your username, your password, your location, your height, your ethnicity, your relationship status, and a profile picture. The final step in the registration process requires you to provide a profile headline and complete an about me and about my match and friends section. Once you've completed all of that, you'll need to verify that your email address is real by going to your actual email and clicking on the link that they sent to you. Just a bit of warning though, that this can take a bit of time to come through. And for me personally, it took a whole 10 minutes for my email to come through. I would suggest that the first thing you do when you access the website is complete your profile. What I love about it is that it contains tons of goth specific information that can help you find that perfect match and vice versa, of course. You are primarily going to have to find your way around the website using a menu system that you will find on the top of the screen. The menu system options include Home, which returns you to the main home screen, Discover, where you can search for potential matches, My List, where there are many sub-menus to be found on here, including your likes and favorites, who viewed your profile, who likes a picture, and more. Community is another option, and this is where you can find those blogs and forums I mentioned earlier. And Messages is the last option where all of your messages you receive as well as the ones you sent can be found here. You will also notice on the homepage that Gothic Match includes a list of new members as well as those you might like on the right hand side of the page. This is useful to look through but you're going to want to conduct searches of your own too I'm sure. This can be done with the quick search bar you will find on the top middle of the screen under the menu system. It only has a few parameters however. As a paying member you can include more advanced search parameters as well. Lastly, Gothic Match has a social media style news feed where you can see any changes users have made to their profiles, including pictures they have uploaded. When it comes to making contact with other users, if someone messages you as a free user, you can actually reply to them. And while this is a viable way to use the website, it becomes a waiting game as you wait for people to send you messages. But with membership, you can send messages to anybody and you don't have to wait for them to be sent to you first. You can also make advanced searches as well, see who has viewed your profile 
profile, browse new members, see who has joined the site recently and when someone was last logged on. You can browse incognito and view reverse messages that the site will suggest for you and more as a member. Now this is going to move me onto number two on my list, but before I jumped into that, I did want to ask you guys our question of the day and our question of the day today is, what is your favorite goth bands? Let me know in the comments down below. I really want to hear some great music. So this is going to move me onto number two on my list, which is goth scene. And we're going to jump right into the demographics. Goth Scene is another niche dating website which primarily focuses on helping goths find friendship and love. It's not exclusively goth, however, but the majority of users sure are. You will find a sprinkling of those who love the punk and emo scene as well. Try as I might, I wasn't actually able to find user numbers for this website whatsoever. For the most part, Goth Scene doesn't seem to have as large of a user base as Gothic Match and certainly doesn't claim to be the biggest goth dating website online. But that doesn't rule it out as a place that you should consider hosting a profile on, that's for sure. That said, there were a number of matchups for me to consider in the small town that I live in, so if you are in a bigger city, you really shouldn't be having any problems finding anybody to chat with. So how does this website work? Well, let's get into this with the ease of use, starting with the registration. The registration process starts with a few simple bits of information provided from your side. This includes your email address, a username, a password, your birth date, your gender, and the gender that you would like to match up with, and your location. With just those few things, you can start to access the website, but you really should fill out the rest of your profile, and your profile does have some parameters that you can fill in, which include your first name, a profile picture, Pick, your height, your ethnicity, your body type, a profile headline, and a description of yourself. And then from there, you'll actually have access to the website. Now, when you look at the website itself, you're going to see that it is a bit overwhelming because it is super busy. But in time, that's something you'll definitely get used to. As with most online dating websites, there are a few basic menus that are at the top of the screen. These menus include Home, which takes you back to the home page, Search, where you can search for matchups, Browse Photos, where you can view photos of other users, My Profile, where if you click here, you will go to your profile and be able to edit it, Settings to change various settings on the website, and Mailbox, where you can find all of your messages both sent and received. The website is divided into three sections on the homepage. On the left is a summary of your profile, how many messages are in your mailbox, your favorites, if you are a favorite of others, how many times you've been viewed, and more. In the middle, you will be presented a bunch of matchups in a roulette style rapid match game. On the right, you can launch quick searches and access other similar websites. Talking about searches, the quick search just includes a few parameters like gender, age range, and location. Clicking on the main search tab allows you to enter a few more parameters to narrow down your search for the right person. There are actually two ways a free users can contact with others, and the first is by sending a flirt. Flirts can be chosen from a dropdown of different options. For example, you could say, have you always been this cute or did you have to work at it? It's a bit corny, but at least you can get your point across. Now, as a free user, you can send 30 free flirts. You can also opt to use the ask if they are interested option on their profile page. This alerts them to your interest and they get the option to sow interest back or to ignore it. If you want to message someone, well, you need to be a member in order to do so. And last thing that I do think that is really important to mention is that they actually don't have you complete your profile when you do register for the website. So before you do anything on this website, I do highly suggest you fill out your profile as much as possible. And this will take about 15 minutes for you to do. Now on this online dating website, in order for you to make real contact with other people and actually send the message, you are going to have to sign up for that membership. But before you sign up for a membership on any online dating website, you should definitely be sure that you're checking out our online dating website deals page. This deal page hosts multiple different online dating website discounts for multiple different online dating websites. So if you'd like to save yourself some money, be sure to check out our deals page. So this is going to move me to the next and last one on our list of goth dating websites, and that is Alt Scene. We're going to start with the demographics first. Alt Scene is a dating website for those of us who feel a little bit different from the crowd. This is not only a goth dating website. 
Here you will find punks, skaters, the occasional metalhead, and others from alternative scenes. If you want to exclusively date goths only, then maybe this isn't going to be the best website for you, but that doesn't mean that you won't find thousands like yourself here as well. That being said, finding the number of users who have registered for profiles on alt scene was impossible. As for the gender split, that wasn't something that I was able to determine either. What I could find out though is that the biggest user group as far as age goes were people who were aged between 18 and 34 years old. So how does this website work exactly? Let's jump into the ease of use starting with the registration. The first thing you'll notice when you log into Alt Scene registration page is that it's filled with profiles of other users already on the website. It's a novel way to show you the types of people that you might find on the website, but let's get into the registration process. It starts with the user providing a name and a surname, email address, password, username, their sexuality, your date of birth, where you were located, and more. Don't worry though, it won't take more than five minutes of your time. Before you are allowed onto the website for the first time, you will have to complete certain profile details. I also like the fact that during this process, you get to select privacy and email options, which ultimately puts you in control of your profile. Finally, before you can access AltScene, you will need to upload a profile picture, and then you are in. The site itself looks awesome. It's dominated by black and red, and the overall design is pretty clean, and while there is advertising, it's well-placed and not intrusive. You will, like the other websites here, have to navigate the website using menus that are found at the top of the screen. Those related menus include messages, profile, searching for matchups, and more. The search menu, which is called Find People, has a few sub-menus, and one of those sub-menus includes friends you have made on the website, the profiles that are most popular, as well as a list of users who have taken a look at your profile. There aren't really that many options available when it comes to search parameters in your quest for that perfect match. You can change the following, which includes age range, gender, sexual orientation, and location. For me, having the Find People based off of location is extremely critical as that allows you to find matchups that are close to your location. If you've found somebody that you'd like to get to know a bit better, you have a few options in order to contact them. You can add them as a friend, flirt with them using the wink option, or you can message them. And here's the good news, and it's that all of these options are totally free. That's because at AltScene, there is no form of membership whatsoever, and that means you are free to send as many messages as you would like to as many users as you would like. How amazing is that? So that was our goth dating website list. If you guys still don't think that any of these websites were perfect for you, don't worry, we got a great solution for you. And that's by taking our online dating website quiz. This quiz is going to ask you some personal preference questions as to what you're looking for in an online dating experience. And at the end of that quiz, it's gonna let you know exactly what that perfect online dating website is for you personally. Now, if you've taken that quiz, be sure to take your result and check it on our deals page. Our deals page hosts multiple different online dating website discounts for multiple different online dating websites. So if you'd like to save yourself some money, who the heck doesn't, be sure to check out our deals page. Now, if you guys wanted to see some more content from us, be sure to check out the videos that are popping up on my left and right here. And I did want to ask you guys one more time our question of the day, which was, what is your favorite goth band? So let me know in the comments down below. Be sure you guys are leaving a like and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys here next time on Online for Love. See ya.